Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with the Bulldog women's basketball squad, and we're joined by head coach Kendra Fosta. And coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Obviously, uh, you knew going on the road to start a four-game road stretch. It was going to be a, a difficult stretch uh, here for your team last week, and fortunately able to go on the on the road and get a split uh, as, as you won one and, and lost one. Obviously, do a very good program. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you, you want to win them all. Um, we we want to play great every game, and um, but when you go on the road, I mean, a split, you're you're going to live with that. Obviously, here at this uh, time of the year, all wins are important. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, your team still very much in contention for Gleak Terma Burke. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, we we've talked about it, and we're aware. And um, you know, I thought we started a little bit slow in the Tiffin game, um, but our our guard play really, really came through. Um, I thought we shot the ball well in the second half. We moved the ball really well, and then and play a little bit better defense in the second half. As we go to the game against the mm -hmm. Tiffin Dragons on Thursday night, uh, obviously you talked about that first half, a very even first half, mm -hmm. and in fact tied at halftime before your team really took control in the second half. Yeah, well, one thing was rebounds. Um, you know, we were only plus three on the boards, uh, I believe, after the first half, and um, you know that is a huge, huge thing for us. Um, in particular, where where we feel like we have an advantage. And, um, and, and we did not do a great job of rebounding the basketball and um, gave up some, you know, three offensive rebounds for layups. And, um, you know, those are things that we don't normally do. We clean that up in the second half, certainly. We're always looking to go out and transition. I mean, um, when we get stops and we can go, um, you know, we're really, we're really good in transition. And um, I thought Adrian Anderson and Renee Sturham and Riley Blair and Leah Humes played really, really well. Talk about those four, and obviously great balance uh, in terms of the scoring overall mm -hmm. here in this game. Yeah, no question. Um, they really were sagging in the paint and, and uh, not letting Rachel touch it. And when she did touch it, they were, you know, going to double her. And thought we did a really nice job scoring from the perimeter and making decisions and extra passes. Obviously, a difficult place to play, and uh, we see the the band right behind the bench. Uh, yeah. how, how loud was that? No question. Let's see. Look at out. They're like literally in our huddle. That young lady with the balloons on her head <laughs> um, was in our huddle. Uh, it, it's it makes it fun. I mean, it's it's uh, it's loud, and it's um, you know it's not the biggest gym in the world, and uh, so you feel like folks are just right on top of you, and it was a fun atmosphere. And hey, they're they're a good team. They're really young. Um, you know, one of their best players got, got injured, and, um, you know, there's some really good guard play. Obviously, uh, here in the second half, you really did a nice job of attacking the basket and finding ways to score. Yeah, um, you know, there's a transition, extra pass, and one. Um, I, I thought our change of pace was much better coming off our ball screens, and instead of just driving in like a bull in a china shop, we really were poised in making decisions coming off those ball screens. 87-68 the final scores. Uh, you get the, the win to open the road yeah. trip and obviously a quick turnaround time to, to face uh, the number one team in the country. Yeah, when you say that, the number one team in the country, um, you know, we, we, we ran into a buzzsaw, certainly. I mean, they're, they're really, really good. Um, it is a really tough place to play and we knew it was going to be tough. We played them well the first game. Um, I felt like we did a great job early of staying poised. The first five minutes of the game was pretty close to perfect basketball for us. I mean, we were really, really good. Um, we, we really struggled on the defensive end. I thought we broke their press well. Um, I thought we moved the ball well. Um, they're just, they're really big physical. They have two All-Americans. Um, and, and we didn't respond very well to that physicality. Obviously, uh, you mentioned that first five minutes, uh, pretty even, but then mm -hmm. as, uh, as they've done in the past to so many teams, I uh, really made a, a big run on you in the second quarter. Yeah, no question. You know, one of my good friends is an offici official in the league, and she had them on Wednesday, or on Thursday night, and she said, you know, it was 12 to 15, and then three minutes later I look up, and it's, you know, 40 to 15. And, uh, and I sort of giggled to myself, and, and that's really what, I mean, that's really what happened. I mean, they just, just like that. Um, that was one of the reasons we didn't press is because we don't we their their speed is kamikaze, and ours is like race car speed, um, and we play real we play really fast and and there that's just it's just a whole different level right now, and um, you know we're not there yet but I think yet is the key word you know we have some of our young players playing really really well, um, you know we have a good class coming in so we're taking steps and there were moments you know that like. You know, shy here. That, that we look really, really good, um, and 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 our young players are really starting to get it. Really, an opportunity here in the second half for those young players to play in a, a tough environment and obviously against a, a very good team. Yeah, I, I really felt like it was important 
um, and a game that at some point in time in the second half you'd have to decide, hey, you're not going to win this game. And so what can we get out of it? And I wanted our young kids to play major minutes. Um, I didn't want, you know, our, our seniors, our two leading scorers to get injured. And um, so what can we get out of it? Well, we can, Savannah Gibson played major minutes and Bray Benner and Emily Cott and, and Shy, you know, that's really, and Adrian, that, those are really important minutes in a tough place where we can reference and be like, hey, this, this is where we're going. This is what we're doing. And look what you did in this environment. And this is, this is what it looks like. Obviously, uh, you put that one behind you now, and you move mm -hmm. uh, forward here this week and another tough challenge going to Michigan Tech, Northern Michigan. Uh, yeah. Talk about the two opponents yeah, this Yeah, two week. really tough places to play. Um, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's not so much the drive or being in the UP. It's just th those are really great home court advantages. Um, you know, I think Tech's band and atmosphere is awesome, and um, you're playing in their arena, in the ice arena, um, when you're at Northern. So some some challenges there I mean all weekend it's going to be rebounding for us um, we're going to have to do a better job defending in the post against tech you know at our place we had tech uh, we missed three out of four free throws you know down the stretch Th those are plays that we I know we'll make uh, down the stretch and um, you know we're, we're ready we're ready to go we're excited about it Obviously, uh, looking forward to another road trip here for the Bulldogs uh, before you wrap up the regular season at home uh, against uh, Purdue Northwest and Grand Valley State next week. And best yeah. of luck. Yeah, thanks. It's happening. I can't believe it's there's a couple weeks left in the regular season. Well, that'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online all season long at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.